This is Sriram Subramanian. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Shop and Pal. I'm going to share with you today how we plan to simplify the operations for millions of small businesses and the cloud apps that serve them and truly empower them, unlock their growth, and help them reach their true potential. Let's start by looking at Jane, who runs Jane's Pizza. About a decade ago, when she was in college, it was her dream to open a restaurant. She did that successfully about five years ago. And business went well, and she in fact expanded to 10 locations. Although business is going great, one of the big challenges is Jane and her team are now spending about 100 plus hours on manual reconciliations every week. And why is that? For a number of reasons. The payment systems that she uses does not report all the transactions into the accounting system, which then creates complications on the tax side. She relies on a number of different e-commerce and ordering platforms, and those orders are not reconciled and matched correctly with what happens in store. And finally, payroll is a big mess because she does not get all the necessary data to be able to calculate payroll correctly for her full-time and part-time staff. About three years ago, she started discovering these awesome apps. This world of QuickBooks for accounting, Square for payments, Clover, Gusto for payroll, and many such different applications that started to simplify her life. However, there was still a big catch. Her reconciliation problems did not end. And why was that? Because majority of these systems did not integrate with each other. In fact, eight out of these 10 systems that she was using wouldn't talk to each other. Even those that did, did not offer the chance to do customizations. So for example, if it's an order that has pizza toppings and beverages on the side, that needs to be relayed over to the other system in that correct manner. It's very different from a retail boutique. So that customization was not there. Thirdly, for the solutions that were out there, Jane was spending thousands of dollars or paying unreasonable monthly subscriptions for technology and integrations that she wasn't really using in depth. And finally, security and compliance was a big problem because she was having to send her customer data to third-party systems which she did not know or trust. And that was creating a huge compliance issue for her. In addition, now, there's a few additional market forces and disruptions that are happening in parallel. The first, which I think all of us are aware, is this growing concern around privacy and data security, combined with tightening compliance regulations, such as PCI and HIPAA, across different verticals. So if Jane goes out of compliance with any of these, she might be shut down tomorrow. It's a risk she cannot take. The second aspect is this explosion of apps across different verticals. And let me give you an example. So if you look at food tech today, dark slash ghost kitchens have emerged. And a restaurant today can get an order from you or me from any app and then send that for processing to a third party delivery only kitchen. And that is not being processed on, on premise for them. Now this requires a slew of different integrations to make this work, which she does not have. So to top it off, this is a market that's going to explode to about one trillion over the next few years. Today, believe it or not, there are already 15,000 food tech apps. And in the next few years, we can see this easily going to 30 to 50,000. So just imagine the scope of integrations that are needed. Let's look at FinTech. There's been uh, an emergence of contactless payments QR code based uh, payment apps, et cetera, which have grown 3x since the start of the pandemic, which was absolutely here to stay. It's not just an effect, a temporary effect of the pandemic. Nine out of 10 people today expect their pay to be available in a flexible and immediate manner. So earned wage access has emerged as a massive category by itself. And finally, all of this culminates into how does Jane manage her cash flow? That's still a very complex problem. And it cannot be solved unless she automates the different parts of her business, and especially whatever goes into payroll. Because without that, she doesn't know how much cash she needs for the next cycle. So now what's happening is that there's this beautiful world of applications, and then Jane and similar millions of business owners on the other side. And there's this divide. She's hesitant 
to go adopt any new application from this new set because she doesn't know if it's going to work with her existing setup. Here's where we come in. We will be the only hub that Jane and SMBs need to connect to any and all of their systems in one place. So she never needs to worry about, hey, is this best of breed application that I pick, the next one that I bring in, will this work with the rest of my setup? That's not going to be a concern. And similarly, that's not going to be a worry for the cloud app providers, too. And let me tell you how we're fundamentally differentiated compared to everything else in the industry. So let's look at how one of the leading SMB apps uses us as an integrated payment and accounting experience. So the merchant goes into their GoDaddy interface. So they're doing their thing, uh, looking at their payments, et cetera. And now they want to move those transactions over to QuickBooks. With our integration, rather than having to go outside to a third-party app, this can be done from within the GoDaddy interface. There's an accounting tab where our integrations show up. The merchant can go through the entire setup on their own within a matter of three to four minutes. And their data is secure within the GoDaddy infrastructure. It is never sent to a third party. We have successfully partnered with many companies similar to them and scaled up from just under 1,000 businesses at the beginning of the year to 4,000 in the past seven months. And this is a great, highly cash-efficient go-to-market model because this is being done without a sales team on our side. But let's talk about how do, what is the path? How do we get to 10 million plus businesses? How do we make our technology uh, affordable, accessible to every part of the globe, as well as the thousands of app providers that are out there across food, fintech, retail, and more? The first part of this, which we've already cracked to a large degree, is a rapid development framework for integrations. So for us, what used to take weeks or months is a matter of under two days to build a new integrations. Second is the ability to automatically generate all the code needed for any new app. So if Jane's bringing in this new contactless payment app, we instantly are able to generate the, the code that can then now connect that app to the rest of her ecosystem. And that's a research underway. We should be in a position to crack that within the next nine months. And finally, the crux of this is the open source model. We believe that we can scale to hundreds of thousands of integrations across every possible SMB system within a span of five years by building a community of thousands of developers. And it's a proven model. If you look at Android, the rise of Kubernetes, Linux, all of these became mass market through the open source model. And that is going to be our growth formula as well. We're fortunate to have assembled a unit which has all the right relevant experience in terms of building and scaling multi-billion dollar enterprise systems. I was with PayPal as a product manager where I ran a $50 billion express checkout product. In that process, I worked with thousands of merchants and that's where I, I got this information firsthand about these problems. My co-founder Arun comes from Citibank and BNP Paribas with a lot of deep fintech experience. Both of have, us have had successful prior exits from other startups. Our tech leadership comprises of Jolt and Kamal. They have both been serial entrepreneurs, great open source contributors. Their technology is used by hundreds of developers and the top Alexa top 30 sites. And Jolt was previously the founding engineer at WEND the number two cloud POS. Sid Madhusudan, who heads our marketing and business development, was part of two amazing startups before, where he went from an under a team of eight people to $100 million plus in revenue. In addition, we're backed by some amazing investors, the likes of Menlo Ventures and angels from PayPal, LinkedIn, eBay, and so on. I encourage you, if this journey, this mission appeals to you, join us and work with us in whichever capacity you can, because small businesses are the foundation of any major economy today. If they don't do well, it hurts all of us. We are very excited about this mission, and we hope that many of you will join us as well. Thank you.